Welcome to another beautiful day here at Camp Cappy. Today, we're gonna to be showing you guys how to make a compost pile at your home. If you don't have a lot of space or a big garden or anything like that, and you wanna make a little one, this is how you do it. All right, to complete this, you will need a bucket. Any bucket will do, any size, any shape, whatever you have. Just make sure it's got some holes in the bottom for your drainage, all right? And then you'll need your scraps, fruit and vegetable scraps, eggshells, all the stuff that Mr. Wooten teaches you about. That's the stuff you'll need. We also have some coffee grounds and the filters. And we are going to be using shredded paper, but you can rake up some dead leaves in your yard and use that instead if you don't have shredded paper. Lastly, you'll need some dirt. Any kind of dirt will really do. Any potting soil, garden soil, or topsoil, anything that you have laying around, it will work in this compost pile. All right, now there are 14,632,000 ways to do compost. This is only one way that we're going to be showing you. If you get online and search it, there's going to be other ways to do it. Just how do it however you want to, okay? We're going to start with our shredded paper. Again, you can use leaves if you want. They're going to go all the way on the bottom to help with drainage and make sure your dirt doesn't fall through, okay? Next, we're going to put some dirt on top of that. Now you just want a thin layer of dirt on top of your leaves or paper scraps. And then you're gonna start adding the scrap, your food scraps. Now remember what Mr. Wooten taught you, any fruits or vegetables, scraps, eggshells, coffee grounds, all that stuff can go in there. No meat, no butter, no salt, no stuff like that, okay? Now, you can cut this stuff up to make them smaller because smaller things compost faster or you can just put them in there however you want. So we're just gonna dump them in there because I don't have any scissors. Plop. All right, we have our coffee grounds. Very good. Now once you have that in there, you're gonna make sure it's all spread around, okay? And you'll wash your hands after this, so don't worry about it. Get that, and then you're gonna put some more dirt in the thing. All right. Now remember, you can use any dirt you have. You can use multiple dirts. If you don't have this much of a dirt, you can just do whatever dirt you got. You want another thin layer of dirt on top. You shouldn't see any of your compost fruits or vegetables. It should just be dirt on top. After that, if you have more, you can put it on there, more orange peels or apple peels or anything like that, and just make sure that there's always dirt on top so you can make as many layers as you want or need to. All right, now, one of the ways you take care of this is it should be outside in part sun, part shade, so it can be on the side of your house where the sun comes over and it's sunny half the day and shady the other half the day. You also wanna water this. Now, much like a plant, you don't wanna overwater it. You just need to put a little bit of water in it every other day, basically. If it starts draining out the bottom, then you have plenty of water in there. That's why the holes are there, to make sure that it doesn't get too wet, right? Because you can't overwater stuff. Now, the cool thing about this compost is you don't have to turn it. Once you set it in there and get it all like the way you like it, you can just leave it like that. You don't have to turn it or mix it up or anything like that. And it should be ready to go in about four to six weeks. Thanks for joining us today making our small compost bucket. If you do this at home, you can make your own impact by keeping things out of landfills and into your own compost pile, all right? Give us a follow on our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more videos of the stuff that we do out here at Camp Cappy, and we'll see you guys next time.